Vanderbilt University is one of the nation's largest centers for biomedical research. Our relationship with the National Institutes of Health is an historic partnership. We receive nearly $400 million each year from the NIH in support of our most cutting-edge research projects. Importantly, Vanderbilt co-invests nearly the same amount in biomedical research. We put hundreds of millions of dollars to work each day, undergirding programs NIH supports. And we continuously invest in the careers of scientists who will someday lead NIH-funded projects. The vital partnership between the NIH and Vanderbilt, reproduced at universities all around this country, supports thousands of brilliant minds from all around the world. These research teams work 24-7 to discover treatments for diseases that have plagued mankind for centuries. People know and trust the lights are always on in our laboratories. Today, thanks to investments by NIH, diseases from HIV to many cancers and heart diseases, once a death sentence, are now yielding to therapy. The battle is never over as we work feverishly on diseases even now becoming epidemics. This year, the Centers for Disease Control reported that one in 88 children born today will have an autistic spectrum disorder. Consider that the risk of autism is now similar to that of polio during its peak year, 1952. If sequestration occurs, the NIH will lose more than 5% of its total annual budget over six months. The result will be a sudden, catastrophic loss of 12,000 jobs and $3 billion of economic output. Beyond a chilling effect on the nation's progress in science, sequestration will discourage a generation of young people from even considering careers in research. Improvements in health based on new research are critical to our economic future. Due in large part to NIH investments, we have gained a year of longevity every six years since 1990. The future economic impact of this progress on the nation's workforce is staggering. Studies show that curing cancer would save approximately $50 trillion, more than three times today's gross domestic product. Those of us working in biomedical research find the notion our elected officials might, through intention or neglect, force our scientists to abandon their efforts rather frightening. I know that families in this country suffering with serious diseases share my concern. 